welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're doing our All Signs reading for this full moon in Capricorn at one degree, June 2024. I'm so excited. This reading is a big deal. This is the first new moon and full moon workshop that I'm putting out completely donation based on YouTube. I'm so grateful for YouTube. I'm so grateful for my YouTube community. So please just know that this entire reading is donation based. If giving back is accessible for you, please there are links in the description of this video in my abode section as well. But if not, this is my gift to you. This is my gift to the world. I really loved this phrase that I heard the other day that, you know, your gifts aren't gifts if you don't give them as presents and present them to the world. So it would be very egoic of me to sit at home and just channel God's divine light and not offer these readings to you. So I'm going to get started by introducing the board and the planets, and then we're going to get into each individual reading. This is the general wheel, starts in Aries and goes all the way around over to Pisces. So please, if astrology is your language, watch for your rising sign first, and then your sun sign, and then your moon sign. If astrology, if you're very new to astrology, that's okie dokie, watch for your sun sign, and you can also watch for the Aries rising. That's definitely accessible. Just because, why can I watch Aries rising, Sarah? Because it's the general wheel, and if you don't know the time of your birth, you just put your planets on the general astrological wheel. So you're allowed to watch those. This is Saturn. This full moon is in Capricorn, and Saturn is run by Capricorn. Cap run, blah, blah, blah. Capricorn's run by Saturn. Saturn's run by Capricorn. And we're talking about, you know, legacy, public life, image, and career. Definitely go watch. There are a few different components to this new moon and full moon workshop, or full moon workshop today. I have the introductory video. It's called, But I'm Daddy's Favorite. There is a tarot reading, a channeled message, as well as this all signs reading. So, all that is available to you. Then do a little roundup with like a recipe and kind of my own little notes and things like that. But I will get to that closer to the full moon. I'm recording this the Saturday before. What's the day today? The 15th, I want to say? The 15th of June. So, and the moon's in Libra. So I'm going to be a little but on bunch with my presentation. <laughs> so let's introduce the planets. This is the sun. Peach selenite. This is the moon. Mercury. Venus. Obviously. Mars. I feel like that's obvious as well. Jupiter. Saturn we just met, Uranus, Neptune, small but painful, Pluto, Black Moon Lilith, Chiron, And this is the North Node and the South Node that I placed down like this. So you can see the North Node going into the sign and the South Node leaving the sign, just like that. So let's get started. Aries rising. Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising. This has been a big few weeks of growth for you. And I don't want you to ever get mad at yourself. I'm going to put them all down. You're feeling that. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Do 
July is going to be spicy. Yeah. July is going to be spicy. Whew, buddy. You're feeling that. Okay. I want to place them all down before I start channeling, really. Okay. Sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, South and Carolina. North. Okay. Yeah, we talked about this two weeks ago, and you know, two weeks ago you we were probably feeling like a champ, and that nothing could bring you down, and that everything was going great, and nobody can topple you because I, you know, have all these new skill sets, and I've been doing so great, and I've made better decisions, and you know, I take time between action and reaction to transmute that reaction to a response, and you know, something and. I talked about this in my, you know, in the private Patreon group in the reading two weeks ago, the new moon in Gemini, it was like feeling good, feeling sassy. Now you're feeling the emotions that we talked about. And now maybe you, and I just want to say that I use the term God brazenly. So I, it's not like a Santa Claus being in the sky. It's like God universe, God, God is all there is, whatever it is that you'd like to label that as you got kicked in the teeth. Something knocked you off of your, something, it's not ego. You know, we have the sun at the base of your chart and the moon at the tippity top of your chart. So this is cultural family roots and this is a legacy, public life and career. Whatever happened, it didn't like, it's not going to affect your trajectory in any capacity, but it made you, you were humbled full body chill you were really humbled i mean i have the sun i have the moon i have the lilith i have neptune over here i have that square between the sun the t square between it's really and i'm not going to really talk about components of this because some people follow one lilith the mean and the true so i'm just going to let lilith be a theme going into libra you didn't mess up you didn't mess up your planetary ruler is in your house of money and values. You didn't mess up. There's a lot, whether it's in your dream space, whether it's something, whatever situation, whatever theme, whether it be personal, professional, relationships, finance, job, work, cars, automobile, like anything, anything, whatever it was, it was for your greater development. And it's like you went down this cul-de-sac and you came back around to tell the tale and you're like, I just lived an entire lifetime in a day, in a freaking day. Because you did. You absolutely did. So I feel as though what whatever is happening is teaching you is that A, you need time alone to make your decisions, home, safety, you know, usually when the sun's in the 12th house or the 4th house, like you're just a homebody. You just want to chill out at home. You just want to be amongst your people. I'm listening to my guides here. For some of you, there's someone either that... There's someone close that isn't meant to be close or that you're choosing to keep close that you know is not meant to be there that just energetically know that this could be family full body chill this could be a family member that you know has never done what it is that you're trying to do and you just can't talk to them all the time you just can't talk to them all the time and that's okay and so we've been talking about this for a while for everybody rebranding loneliness and really integrating your time with yourself Aries to be some of the most important time like literally I want you to I'm just be I'm being given like a corporate lens right now you're the CEO of your life and when you have your alone time, that's, I'm just seeing like the big long table in front of you and you have your accountant, you have your this, you have your this, you have your assistant, you have the CFO, you have all of these people, you have the lawyers, you have HR, you have everybody there and you're doing your check-in with everybody. It's you, you irrational little baby Eris Ram. So you're just like, nah, I, I, I take on every role, but you also know when to delegate. You also know when you can outsource. 
you're so much smarter than you've ever, and you've really been integrating that. I've been talking about that all year. Mostly this North Node transit. You are so much smarter and grounded and more knowing than you've ever allowed yourself to be, Aries. And so I want you to know that your time with yourself, you take that word alone and you scratch it out and you say, I'm with Aries right now. I'm with myself. I'm taking myself out to lunch, taking myself out to dinner. Even in divine partnerships, I need you to be spending time with yourself. I need you to have, even if it's day dates once a week, I need you to have time with yourself. There's a lot that you're feeling right now. And you're releasing a lot of what people need of you. Really, after most readings, after most days, after most shifts at the restaurant, after most times that I do any of the things that I do, after I record my for my YouTube channel, I literally unbubble myself, I take off the gook, and I say, I'm not the thoughts of anybody. I'm not what anyone needs of me. I'm not what anyone projects onto me. I'm just a person. I'm just a person, and I'm trying my best. So Aries, knowing that you're a person and knowing that you're trying your best and knowing that your best is all that you can actually ever give, kind of takes some pressure off, right? And, you know, this is a phrase that I really needed to hear and I heard it earlier this week, just like a random you know, person that I follow on Instagram and I just popped in and I was like, oh, what's going on here? Whereas they were talking about, you know, empaths and it was like Danny Morrill or something like that. He was interviewing someone and it was this clip of you talking about like the different, the similarities between empaths and narcissists. And it was saying, you know, if you feel like, oh, I got to set a boundary, I got to set a boundary, that's you taking responsibility for the feelings of the other person. And that's honestly, if you're an empath, you're kind of leaning towards the narcissist side. So I appreciate it because it kicked me right in the teeth where I was like, oh my God. I'm not responsible for anyone else's emotions but my own. I can only speak my truth and how they respond to that is their own. That's awesome, Aries. Good stuff. Cry it out. Cry it out, honey. I love you. Taurus. Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising. You're experiencing one of the biggest changes you've ever experienced in your entire life. Can't run from where your feet are. Oh, we've tried. Oh, yeah. We've tried. We've all tried. Dude. We've all tried. I literally almost didn't even post the Jupiter and Gemini reading because of how hard yours hit. Literally. Yeah. I was like, I can't put that out there. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, North, and South. Some of you are mad at me. You go talk to Leo. And go look at some of their videos that I've put out there for a long time. And I've had to be sharp with them numerous times before. And sometimes what you notice, you know, communication, quest adventure, long distance travel, higher education, early learning, short trips, neighbors, bigger stuff, spirituality as well. There's two parables that I want to give. You know, when someone's in a dark hole or when someone's really messing up or like about to go left, you know, a lot of the times I say, nine times out of 10, I'm like, let them go left. They're experiential learners, let them go left. But there's sometimes a one friend that's like, hey, you know, that person that you're with, they're really, you're not meant for them. That situation that you're in, it's really not okay. I'm really worried about you and I love you. I 
in the second analogy, the second parable I've given before. You know, the building's on fire. Everybody's running around the movie theater. Everybody's screaming. Are you listening to the person that's like, uh, did somebody call the police? No, no, my goodness. Should we get the kids out? Maybe the whole building's on fire. Maybe that exit, this, this, are we doing that? Or are you listening to the person that's like, listen, everybody, shut the F up. Listen to me. I've got two cell phones. I've already called the police. Women and children, go to the tree outside in front across the parking lot. These people, help me pick up these people and take them out the back. Don't worry about this. Are there any animals in the building? You're listening to the person that's kind of a son of a nutcracker. And so I really appreciate the way that, you know, this guidance speaks through me. But sometimes it hits very hard and I am aware of that and I love you. That's all I wanted to say at first. A lot of what that is, is what the planets are teaching you right now. You know, I say it every year on my birthday. What would Sarah do? My birthday's in March, I'm an Aries son. And so right now, I want you to look at the way that you're communicating. And I want you to also look at the times and the way that you're communicating in ways that make the people around you feel better. You are fixed negative earth, Taurus rising, Taurus sun, Taurus moon. But at the same time, I feel as though that rigidity, the fixed axis that you're on can be, no, I like this person in my life. I like the situation. I like where I am. And I will say and do whatever it is that I need to say and do to keep it. To keep it. So, you know, the North Node is going to go into Pisces in January 2025. That's a huge opportunity to bring in new community, bring in new friendships, bring in new soul contracts, wishes for the future. Right now, I feel as though you're ending a lot of soul contracts with the North Node in Aries in your house of soul purpose, healing closures and coming home. And you're releasing old activities in daily life, as well as releasing maybe old jobs, just a lot of old things that don't serve you anymore, that really don't serve you anymore. Pluto is going to dip back down into Capricorn later on this year. These are all big, long-range transits, big opportunities for you to try on for size doing things differently. So this is a baby opportunity. You know, Jupiter wants to bless you wants to bless your house of money and values and access to resources. But if you're staying rigid and small, you can't grow. It's like a plant that's in a tiny little pot. It's going to be fine in that pot. It'll still be alive, but you know that the root, it will, when you repot a plant, A, the roots of that plant get stronger, but also it gets to thrive. The plant gets to grow bigger. You're allowed to grow and do things in ways that are effortless. It doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be hustling. I feel as though some of you in the past like four to six months I'm hearing kind of like went not back to an old lover, but kind of like leaned into family a little bit for good reason. You know, lots of mom and dad stuff is coming up for a lot of people right now, but it's almost like you in your child inner child or adolescent space like needed some hugs from mom and you got some hugs from mom and then the next day mom calls and she's like hey how you doing you okay you're like yeah i'm doing okay thank you so much and then two days later she calls and she's like hey do you want to go see a movie with me you're like yeah i'd love to go see a movie thank you that feels nice and then before you know it you're having lunch every day you're texting every morning and we know and it's definitely you know in the playlist the toolbox Taurus I have the and then there was mother video it's really gross to listen to and to watch as well as the Papa can you hear me video but so much mother father stuff is coming up right now that you know we don't want to look at the fact that you know mom is maybe projecting you to be like the son or the daughter amalgamized into the husband or wife that they don't want to put themselves out there to be you know we don't want to look at that we don't want to but we, we kind of have to. It's a powerful video, but only a few people have seen it because I'm like hitting odd. But again, Taurus, if you want that bougie life, you got to do things differently than your family. I love you. Gemini, 
Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> it's funny. It's like Gemini season hits hard for everybody, but it's almost like you're like, yeah, Gemini season hits hard for me too. <laughs> process so deeply it's just so cool to see this is the one you're at nine you're at five I'm feeling like dizziness which is very interesting. It's like, you, please ground, please ground. Like, I just want you like at a bonfire, kind of on the water, but I like, I really need your feet in the sand right now. Really need your feet in the dirt. I need you getting, I want you playing in the mud. You're an air energy. So I need you to go to the earth the fire or the water to heal it those are like fires your opposition but this is mutable so like i like i'd really please ground please 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 ground this is the money access second and eighth second house is money values access to resources my possessions and the eighth house is shared possessions deep transformation death rebirth this is a scorpio run house but for you it's run by capricorn like you you're releasing old ideologies as to what it is that you can handle and what it is that you want. The guys are also saying like, don't be naive. Don't be naive right now. You need alone time. You really need alone time. You and Aries are experiencing very similar things, which is fascinating. You two could really lean on each other. I was looking at it as a sextile, but it's also, I was looking at Leo and my guys are like, you'll see what's going on with Leo. There's enough, everybody has so much on their plate right now that when you can lean into something, I think it's the irrationality of the Aries Ram and the mutability of your two brains where it's just like, Aries can keep up with both of your brains because they, I've given this parable for many years where it's like, you've got two computer screens in front of your face at all times. And Aries is the like, I've got 18 tabs open. One of them's playing music, but I don't know which one. They can just keep up, just pick the tab and just keep going with it. So maybe lean on some Aries in your life right now. You can both hold each other. Just give Aries their, their chance to cry. And that's and that's all. Let it, maybe let them cry first and tuck themselves out and then and then they can lean on you and stuff like that. But that's it's very much <sighs> Jupiter is creating this shine on you right now. And the sun and the moon are saying like, my guys are literally just screaming, don't be naive. They're saying this could be relationships, work, finance, community, family. Like they're just, you get every single thing, whatever, whomever, Gemini, rising, sun, moon that I'm talking to. You can even look at the place in the chart where Gemini falls in your chart. It could be literally anybody. Do not be naive. Please go back and watch. I completely forget which one it was. There was a full moon a little bit ago. It's called Nevite. Just don't be naive right now. Jupiter is expansive energy. Jupiter and Gemini is expansive technology, expansive information, expansive everything. Do not share your precious ideas with people that are not meant for your future. If you see someone in your future right now, Gemini, and we've talked about this a lot, a lot 
If you see someone in your future, what role are they playing? How much time do you spend with them? All those different things. And then right now, spend that amount of time with them. Literally, the people around you, you are the amalgamation of the five closest people to you. Money and community is currency, dude. It is. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You are the amalgamation of the five closest people to you. So if your people around you are your currency and you wouldn't trade lives with them, then you need to take them energetically out of your bubble. If there are work colleagues that you do not see in your future, every time you see them, just act like it's your last day and just be like, oh my God, it's so good to see you. I really appreciate everything about you, but don't share a thing about your life. I need your boundaries so strong right now. I need your boundaries so strong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing someone say like, well, that wasn't very practical. I'm like, okay, so really, really, if your boundaries are the sealant in the wooden boat that is your money bucket and you have leaky boundaries every day, you're worried about like, Okay, I know it just rained last night, so I'm gonna have to scoop out the boat and everything's gonna be okay. And I just, I mean, it's gonna run, it's gonna function, Gemini, it's gonna be fine. But if you just take some time to set healthy boundaries and put sealant in the panels of the boat, you don't have to worry. You could spend your time thinking about other things. So please set some more healthy boundaries, whether it be energetically, write it in your journal, whatever it is that really makes sense to you, Gem. I want you doing that right now. And you will see an incredible change in whatever is not really slapping, whether it be your finances, whether it be healthy partnerships and relationships, like you, you know, have friendships, but not your divine partner, or you and your divine partner aren't really doing so well. So you really kind of need to set new boundaries with them or so many different things. Whatever really was coming through for you, focus on that, Gemini, and we'll talk again in a few weeks for the new moon. All right. Thank you, Gem. Cancer rising, Cancer sun, Cancer moon. How are you doing? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just going to let you scream for a little while while I set everything up and then we're going to talk about it. Just scream, cry. It's okay. You know, happy birthday to Cancer Suns. Just gonna say that. Lots of lots of tears are coming up right now. So I've been meaning to do an entire video on what it means to go no contact and how that can be the best, most efficient, and joy-filled way to love someone. And so there's I'm just gonna write it down because I will record that soon. It just, I haven't, for a while, I was like, oh, this is, people know what that is. But right now, I want you to understand that whatever you're in, just be in it, love it, be grateful for how deeply you're processing, be grateful for what is coming up. It's a lot of internal patterning that's changing with, like, I'm seeing your heart chakra being really, like, blasted open right now. And, you know, this is you. And relationships so we're releasing some relationships you're coming into a more public life and space something that you have been really working towards and for a long time is coming to be a lot of actually and a lot of your you know divine partners are about to prosper as well and so that's very exciting in the next year a lot of you are going to be receiving either you know for divine feminine this could be you know your husband your partner they prosper so much that you don't have to work anymore and for divine masculine cancers this is going to be you being able to you're about to scale your business some of my cancer divine masculine men have already scaled their business 
This is a very interesting parable, and this is for cancer men. I'm seeing, you know, like, I'm seeing Buddy the Elf, like, showering in the tiny little shower at the beginning, and it's as if, like, you found out that you were a human, but you still never left. There's a lot of growing up that's about to happen, That's you're ready for it, and things are happening internally. Um, you might be given a catalyst in the next few weeks or around this time to really just be like, I'm not a kid anymore. You know, that could be the mother-father that we're talking about, the mother and father within you. There's a lot to... I'm just going to say this because I love you. In the toolbox, in my public toolbox, there are two videos, and then there is mother, and Papa, can you hear me? I would, if you're ever ready for it, watch the, and then there was mother video. It's a running joke, and it has been since, like one of my favorite reference with like the Sun Signs book, is it Linda? Oh my God, I wanna say Goodman, but I don't know. Like a lot of the, the running joke of cancer men. It's not just my language, is their attachment to mother, literally. And then there was mother. It's okay. A healthy woman can't come in if you keep her so close, she just can't. I'm hearing some of you say, and that's okay. And that's where you are. That's where you are. And that's amazing. And so it's not me coming at your mom. I'm not saying anything that's you know negative about mom. All I'm saying is that when we are consciously creating our own successes, this is Lazarus language, you got to go around your parents to say, I know that you did things this way, but I need to do things this way. I need to be more prosperous. If you want to scale your business and be able to buy mom her own house and stuff like that, you can't do that if you're hanging out with her every Friday and Saturday night. You just can't. And so it's okay to, you know, okay, you see someone in your life, someone peripherally, it could be anyone, anyone that you are not responsible for. This could be a homeless person. This could be someone that, you know, you in your egoic mind's eye says they're struggling. What we do around here at this cafe table is we say, God, please bless this person. Look at your vision, your view, your focus, your mind as like this absolute beam of a lighthouse. It's like the dude from like Ghostbusters 2 where there's like just, just like, um, like flashlights coming out of his eyes and focus on that person and say, God, this person is so worthy of your love and blessings. Please bless them because I can't handle them right now. I can't take on that soul contract, but please make sure that they are okay. And then you trust God to do it. You trust God to do it. There's a significant amount of growth that you're experiencing internally right now, Cancer, and I'm really excited for the next six to eight months of your life because you have really exciting things to do. I don't want to say like big and it's like fame things, but it's like you get to do some really incredible stuff, really incredible stuff. And it's not going to be difficult. It's something that you have been preparing your whole life for cancer. So be excited about it, but make space for those healthy people to be in their healthy roles. That was so cool. I'm really proud of every single one of you that stuck around for that reading because it's not easy to hear what it is that we don't want to hear. It's not easy to focus on things that maybe just make us uncomfortable. And above all, growth is sometimes painful. I love you, Cancer. Great job. Leo. Leo. Leo, honey, how you doing? You might be tired. 
just with the arising with the sun transiting your 12th house, you might be tired. A lot of you have experienced some situations in the past like week to two weeks where you are either leveling up, you are going to be, you know, this is public life, or pardon me, daily life, health, practical service. This is the health axis, the sixth and the twelfth house. Twelfth is soul purpose, healing, closures, and coming home. So a lot of you are releasing old habits. Um, some of you are going to be either integrating new jobs or changing jobs. Some of you are going to be moving possibly, working less, working more, going through a buttonhole possibly. There's a lot of really exciting, advantageous changes that are happening because of what's been going on internally. Um, there's definitely some adolescent stuff that we all have an inner teenager we all have an inner child we all have a soul we all have a higher self we all have a future self your inner teenager will destroy your life if you let them take over the avatar they will I spent many years with my inner adolescent running the ship and it Many a times I had to lose everything. I had to lose all of my money. I had to lose all, like my living situation. I had to become borderline homeless. I had to literally experience all those things to be like, okay, I now know when she's running the ship. Whenever I hear things like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go to work today. I don't wanna. I'm like, oh, we got, we got put her in check, girl. We got put her in check. But right now, it's kind of full steam ahead. You're going really, like for some of you, this is really beautiful. I'm really excited. A lot of y'all took a leap. A lot of y'all, you know, pulled back the adolescent consciously, unconsciously, or subconsciously and took a massive leap of faith. And I'm really excited about that. I just had a full body chill. And so you can, fl you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. This is really great. You're being catapulted into a new lifestyle, a new area, a new realm, or, you know, just you're going to be amongst Jupiter in your house of community, friendships, and wishes for the future. You're going to be around a new community where you get to pick and choose who stays and who goes. Just because you have a new person in front of you doesn't mean that you have to express your entire life story to them. Really. We've been talking for a long time about rebranding loneliness, rebranding time with myself. Yes, my guys are saying like one or two people in your inner circle. Your kids are outside of that circle. You don't have to, you can be honest with them. You know, I recorded an entire video about introducing energy work to your children, a beginner's guide. And so there's a lot that is going to be said about how to not lie to your children, but say, hey, you know, mom or dad, I'm just, you know, feeling a lot of feelings right now. It usually feels really good for me to go for a walk. I'm going to go for a walk. And then when I come back, why don't we spend some time together? This could also be for Leo children that are watching this or not. This, you know, my content is not for children, but Leo, like, 18, 20, 30 year olds that have parents that they're reparenting or have to take over. This is you saying to your parents like, hey, I need to spend some time with myself, but I'll be over for dinner. Can I bring anything? And having those healthy boundaries. So a lot of that is about community. This is really exciting, very, very deep work that you're doing right now, Leo, and I'm really jazzed about it really jazzed. I also had to highlight, my guides are saying, we get two full moons in Capricorn, which is very rare. This one right now is at one degree, and the next one is going to be at 29 degrees. Very rare to have two full, two full moons in the sign. Very rare. So if you feel like you have an Everest in front of you, if you feel as though you have absolutely no idea how to change the situation that you're in, how to manifest the amount of money that you want to manifest, how to do any of those things, give it to the moon, give it to God, give it to your higher self and say, I know I'm the only one that is here that can fix the problems. I'm the only one with the codes, but 
let's do some things let's face some things very efficiently and the more we face them the more we tell god yeah i can do this i can do this god's gonna be like, oh leo can handle so much more than we thought that leo could handle let's give leo more let's bless leo more the adolescent i believe in you i'm really proud of you i can see you doing it and nobody knows if you're struggling or not so just keep on keeping on but don't look back don't look back don't look back. Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Virgo, rising, sun, moon. There's nothing to be afraid of. Absolutely nothing to be afraid of. girl you're looking at too many memes about the awakening you need to just really just be like okay i can i can do this it's almost like you you started to do some it's funny the view that i'm getting where it's like you started to do like your little bit of research about like what is a spiritual awakening what is this and you saw all of the memes that were like what people think a spiritual awakening is life and then it's like the roller coaster what a spiritual awakening is actually like it's really you looking at your own stuff and you looking at ego and you looking at like where your role is and just speaking from my statements and the more you face it earnestly and with integrity, the more you just become the most authentic version of yourself. Why would you not want to become the most authentic version of yourself, you know? Definitely watch the introductory video definitely saturn in your house of relationships and neptune at 29 degrees of pisces in your house of relationships pluto retrograde in your house of daily life and practical service in this full moon getting two lows we have this one at one degree and then in a month we're gonna have another full moon at 29 degrees of capricorn so we get a very interesting little mulligan this is a lot so we're releasing old ideas of play joy romance creativity children childlike spirits um some of you this is a very specific message for some of you. Some of you that are older, your parents, you know, are separating, divorcing. There's there's some very interesting, not, it's like peripheral relationships are really changing, whether it be you're changing jobs or, you know, your boss that you really got along with. Ooh. It's like the boss that you really got along with and that kind of like you had an in with is leaving and you don't have that in anymore and you're just like wait this is how everybody else gets treated I don't get preferential treatment anymore I don't like what what and then you recognize that you do have some mother and father stuff that's coming up but it's work-based yeah it's fun based it's like there's some there's some very interesting i mean the 11th house over here this is community friendships and wishes for the future and this is childlike spirits or kiddos your kiddos virgo sun moon and rising will be acting up especially virgo risings they will be feeling this energy yeah we are affected by the charts of the people around us just like we are the amalgamation of the five closest people to us so maybe take some time away Ooh, this is this is going to be very this is going to be very deep work for you I need you to spend some time alone right now Virgo and really feel and process this alone I don't even want you doing talk therapy with another person I would really like you doing mirror work or you know I have so many videos that it's you know hey Sarah it's me Sarah from the past or I channel my own guides and I talk to my future self I really need you spending some time with yourself Like go to the therapist if you need and then spend a lot of time. Like I, I want you to have like a long weekend with yourself. I don't want you feeling, I need you journaling. I need you writing. I need you really feeling into who you are when nobody is watching, what is happening, but this could very well be work-based. This could very well be something that kind of like, this is so such an odd specific picture that's coming into my brain and these are just parables I say that all the time so it's not like 
it's not doctrine you know it's not like a perfect like this is what's going to happen but it's almost like you're going for a walk in the woods and you're kind of like going through some brush and you know this is a parable you know when we're walking down the road of life the past is in the past and you're not supposed to look back and i'm just seeing you walking through some like bush and then you look back and you accidentally get like whacked in the cheek with like with um just like a like a stick or something that was very unexpected but like you got like scratched on the face from it it's a very odd ego punch i'm just listening to my guides for a moment because i want to be gentle and It's almost like you're going to walk into a room and, oh, that boss that maybe, you know, we had talked about or something. You're going to, you might walk into a room and hear people like making fun of you or it's, this is, again, these are all analogies, but something is happening that says to me, you're going to see that you had projected onto a boss, someone in your life, like, like it's the full title of the full moon and cap introduction is but i'm daddy's favorite it doesn't seem to me like this is like mom dad it just seems that you could really benefit from spending some time with yourself learning what it is that you need virgo rising especially but also sun and moon what do i need from my community what do i need from my daily life releasing old values i'm so proud of you this is intense very very intense it's also a great opportunity for you to recognize like yeah it's like someone at work is like taking advantage of you and doesn't appreciate you as much as you think that they do and once this situation comes to light it could be helpful for you to kind of see some of your old patterns you're like your mutable earth energy so you're a very experiential learner in the sense that you need to do your own research like your mutable earth so run by mercury so when you learn new information you're like oh my god i was really wrong you're the first person to say like i was wrong but right now you might be feeling like no, i'm doing good things are okay i can handle all the things around me you don't have to and you don't want to be around people that are taking advantage of you because of how hard you work. You're one of the hardest working signs of the Zodiac. Save cap. Yeah. Call me if you need anything. Literally message me if you need anything. Yeah, I do individual readings. Let me know. Libra, precious child. How are you doing? What's new in your world? You don't have to lie to me. Nobody can see you. Nobody can hear you. Nobody's around. There's deep pain happening right now. Very deep, 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 deep pain. The image that I'm seeing, and it's just, it, it's it's a lot, but it's, you know, these are images, these are parables, these are analogies, these are not doctrine. It's like, you know, someone coming up to you, and I think we talked about this for a little bit, and I talked to Capricorn about this a while ago as well. It's like, you know, you, somebody's asking you like, hey, you know, look at that dumpster that's on fire over there, and you're like, that's not my dumpster. It's not my monkeys, it's not my circus. And then someone's like, yeah, but that dumpster is spitting fire onto your car and it's kind of burning the tires and your car that you need is actually now on fire. And you're just like, yeah, that's just the way that God wants it. So I'm just gonna let it be. And they're like, you could move your car away from that and you know, maybe not, maybe salvage what's left of it. You're like, no, it's cool, that's fine. I like, this. this could be you know, self-sabotage keeps us small. Self-sabotage is something that might sneak up on you. 
and this has been this has been a big year a big you know the north node in aries and the south node in libra this has been an exceptionally large transit for you and so this is deeply rooted it's not mother father issues it is habits of family is what i'm looking at right here habits saturn is running you're, it's the middle of your daily life, health and practical service. Neptune's just poking up on your descendant sign. You know that that's going to be an interesting transit. And this is a lot. This is a lot. You know, the cardinal signs are feeling this. This is on your axis. You've got the T-square right here. Neptune. Definitely go watch the introductory video, but I'm daddy's favorite. Just look at yourself. And where are you? Where are you in pain? There's some deep, deep pain right here. You know, Mars and Taurus for you. I'm just seeing you being like, I just, I have to keep showing up to work. You know, I have to keep doing this. I have to, I just, you know, I got to pay the bills and I got to keep the roof over my head and stuff. Yes, you do. But that does not rule your life. And that does not mean you can check out I really want you to be focusing on, I'm just listening to my guides. They don't want you to worry so much about your trajectory. They don't want, like, it's just, it's a lot and I don't want to overwhelm you. So I'm going to just be a little bit gentler and just give you, you know, a little bit of comfort. You know, when the sun transits the top of your chart, we just feel as though everybody's watching because this is in that 10th house of legacy and public life. Nobody feels, nobody knows that you're experiencing all of this unless you're really like, unless there's addiction. You know, a lot of people are going sober or a lot of people are, you know, just omitting caffeine, sugar. A lot of people are really cognizant of their patterns right now. Like a significant amount of people. This is a very big wave that people are going through right now. So those that are not looking at that they're like oh you know i just go to the casino every once in a while or oh on my day off i just like take a bunch of edibles and then just like take a few shots and then just like you know f around with the boys where the people around you are like libra is really struggling right now <clears throat> libra is really struggling um this could be eating this could be big stuff this could be spending like they're just really look at addictive tendencies and patterns and a lot of this could be cultural family roots the roots of the tree of your life you might not even be aware that you are the one to heal the whole family line in this capacity so it might just be that you were completely unaware that this is something that you're like wait i have to heal my father's issues i have to heal my great grandmother's issues and stuff like that like no, they kind of blessed you with all of their guidance and all of their tools and all of their abundances. So all you have to say is thank you. Please guide me from the beyond. I'll give a little tool and this is something that I did, you know, we didn't I did in leadership and corporate. It's something that I still do in my daily life because my inner circle is so small. When you're ready, ask someone to judge you you know i would always have someone if i had a one-on-one -on -one, this is corporate if i had a one-on-one -on -one with someone i would have somebody else in the room just sitting there you know doing notes like really kind of just like paying attention very peripherally and then by the end i'd be like okay how did i do did i do well did i overreact like please judge me in that capacity and in my daily life now there's very few people but the ones that are are potent and I have a healer as well that I go see that I'm like, show me my shadow. That's my intention. Every time I go receive anything is show me my shadow, show me where I can better develop, show me my nevite, show me where I need to do healing that I don't want to look at. You know, if you have very big physical fitness goals, hiring a coach, hiring a personal trainer, or just do those exercises that you really don't want to do. You want that chin up, you got to do chin ups more often. You want to have that handstand hold, Sarah, you're going to have to do handstands every day. You got to do the wall walks. You got to do the things that you know you do in that future version of yourself. I'll light a new incense. But who do you trust? 
to actually not be your yes people, but the ones that could say, hey, yeah, I don't know how to help you because I can't help you until you're ready to be helped, but this is what I'm seeing and it's not, it's not as cute as you think it is, Libra. Or it's not as unseen as you think it is. Like people do notice that you're struggling and they want to be helpful for you. So let the people in that you really, 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 really trust. Okay, take some deep breaths. I'm proud of you, Libra. South Node in your sign is not easy. It ain't easy, girl. It ain't easy. All right. Scorpio. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. Your living universe is in an entire day. You're experiencing the trajectory of, like, like it's just, where you're going is very, This it's Jupiter in your eighth house. That's basically the common denominator. This is the why. So this is early learning communication, short trips, language. This is quest, adventure, long distance travel, philosophy, higher education, legalities, all the good things. Any legal thing that happens to you right now will be so prosperous for you. Scorpio, I'm very, very excited. Work is changing. Daily life is changing. Play, is, you're learning how to play. Please, this is Scorpio. So... If you're watching for a Scorpio, amazing, but I'm talking to Scorpio rising right here. If you are in a partnership right now and you are not worshiping that being as the decadent God or goddess that they are, you're doing yourself and your business a disservice. Yeah. Yeah. This is shared possessions. This is sensuality, sexuality. This is a Scorpio run house. I have a whole video on Jupiter in Gemini. It's in the longer range transits playlist. It's a, it's a grid like this, but you will not prosper in your business if you don't nurture and nourish opposition of your second house of self and my money. This is self, but like my values, my access to resources. I'm sorry but it'd be advantageous for your business. And this is Scorpio that I'm speaking to, so anyone else listening, this is not for you. But you love up on them. Saturn and Neptune in your house of play, run by Pisces. You worship them. And for anyone that is not in their divine partnership, I'm having full body chill. So Mars is one of your chart rulers. So this is in your house of the descendant sign. You're going to shine. You're like, you're like the, <laughs> the arc, you're like the classic archetype of Scorpio right now, which like very vampire-esque, like you're just, you're shining very much. So you do not and I repeat, do not let anybody into your bed that is not your king or queen. You go out and you just go buy yourself some beautiful new toys. You worship yourself and you get very used to celibacy. This is a really weird analogy, y'all. I didn't think that this was going to be so much about sex, but I'm going to get to the full moon in a second. But um, it's almost as if like your sexual energy is like a it's like it's like an ATM and I'm just seeing like money come out so if you're sleeping with somebody that's not your king or queen you're just you're just giving away a lot that was really cool okay let's just this is quest and adventure and this is early learning short trips language yep just talk to the people around you and get used to being 
I don't want to say disliked, but get used to breaking hearts, get used to saying no to contracts that really don't serve you, get used to saying no to people in a way that they unconsciously, it's not subconscious and it's not conscious, they unconsciously are drawn to the elixir that is you, Scorpio, right now. And I really, really would recommend not like I want you alone more than than could than you have ever been with yourself more than you've ever been and it's that elixir it's kind of like you know in hocus pocus when they gave the kiddos the thing and there's all wispy and stuff around them it's like people are just drinking it in and you're delicious it's you scorpio it's wonderful I'm not really here to stroke your ego. If you want me to punch you in the teeth, it's just because you're acting out of childhood tendencies. And your your ego is like, oh, this is nice. I like the way that everybody makes me feel. Yeah, that's that's okay. It's because you're trying to nurture that inner child that didn't get the love and attention and the respect that they needed when they were a child. You are recognized with your own deep work. You're in, a, in your seventh house of relationships. That you are not difficult to understand. You are not difficult to love. You are not difficult to literally understand it all you're not and so you're kind of recognizing that some of those childhood tendencies and patterns you know we're sitting right here at the bottom the roots of the tree of your life a lot of childhood stuff is coming up and so it'd be easy to how do i say fall into the arms of someone just because there are arms there all right now that's enough now that's enough I love you, Scorpio. I love how masochistic you like your readings to be. I appreciate you. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there sometimes. And I just love how you like to take your information. It's quite interesting chatting with you, but... I'm grateful that, you know... I'm grateful for the way that God gives me my downloads and information. I just tell God, like, please take my ego involvement out of it. And I just let the channel come through. I just tell God to speak through me. And I set the intention for the highest and greatest good of all. And the, only the white light of God is resides in this space. So I was like, I love how saucy you take it. Oh, Scorpio, it's a very nice thing to be you. Let's move along. Sagittarius, Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius sun and moon. Money, 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 money. That'll feel so good, end of the month. When Lilith leaves your 10th house, I'm excited for that. All the deep work that you've done, and it doesn't matter which Lilith you follow, by the end of this month, both Liliths will be in Libra. So when Lilith is in Libra, really blessing your house of community friendships and wishes for the future as well as having the south node in there it will be a smaller circle i know i'm sorry it'll be a smaller circle but i promise you it'll be worth it because those will be the vibers those are the winners i want you surrounded by winners yeah i want you i want you surrounded by winners right now this is about money this is you know the house of shared possessions deep transformations wills contracts sensuality sexuality and this over here is money values and access to resources you're gonna get two full moons in this house which is wild sag this is wild i'm so excited for you this is like you find a treasure chest in the backyard and you're like i would do you want to share it with everybody that you know is not meant for your highest and greatest good or you want to share it with the few people that's meant to be in your life that's what i thought I'm listening to my guides for a minute. Some of you are not meant to work. Some of you are meant to be on mission and that you need to 
it'd be advantageous for you to rebrand work and be like, what if I got to do my passion for a living? We talked about this last year that there's like a job called like a hype man and a hype woman where people get paid to like show up to parties. Yeah, there's a job that exists on this planet. You can get paid for your passions way more than the nine to five that you do to supplement your passions. I kind of need you to double down on your passions right now and really like, I really need you to double down. This might be, you know, a little bit more of a hustle in summer for you, no joke. And I love, I love you, I'm sorry, but I need you to recognize like, it's not like work hard, play hard, but it's like, I am on mission. Yeah, if I told you that at the end of the summer, you would have infinite money, infinite resources, and you never had to like work or do the job that you have to do now, you'd put full hog into it, right? Yeah, you would. I need you to double down on yourself right now, Sag. I need you to double down on yourself and ask yourself when nobody's around and nobody's watching. I don't care if it's, you know, oh my God, I'm just seeing so many different, like it's like a flip book of different ideas that you can do, but they're new world ideas. It's like the, you know, I'm not on TikTok, but it's like the get ready with me. It's like your sass. It's like your, you know, whatever your niche is and then you start recording your niche it's like it's so it's people just love watching you and people just love your light and just love the way that you vibe and love the way that you do things that you're sad you're such you gotta go around what your parents ever thought that you could ever possibly be and do in this world and just surround yourself with winners i only want the people in your inner circle that share similar values that you, I don't care what their belief systems are, but if I handed you infinite money, if I handed you, if you knew that tomorrow, tomorrow, you're getting time freedom, you're getting financial freedom, you're getting location freedom, do you feel good about calling the people in your life that are on the top five of your phone? You feel good about that? If not, you put them in a bucket, you talk to them ASAP, you put that on the books, you say, I love you, but I can't I can't continue down this road. We got to have some new healthy boundaries. You know, Aquarius, oh, pardon me, Aquarius. Pluto is in your third house right now, retrograde. It's going to dip back down into Capricorn. So this is a choose your own adventure right now. Either you do this now or you don't, no, I don't even want to say that. It's not like you won't get the opportunities. You can't mess up your trajectory. But do you want to be surrounded by winners or do you want to be surrounded by like people that are just, suck your best then off of you. Personally, I would rather you surrounded by winners, people that are an individual slice of pizza. See how you're only one twelfth of the whole pie? You need Cap, you need Aquarius, you need Pisces, you need Aries, you need Taurus, you need Gem, you need Cancer, you need Leo, you need Virgo, you need Libra, you need Scorpio. You don't have to take over all of this. I heard some of you just say like, well, what if I want to? What if I want to take over that? Then go, please, and watch the introductory video for this full moon. Go watch, and then there was mother, and Papa, can you hear me? And tell me how you feel after those things. Tell me what comes up for you. It is not your responsibility to take on everything. You cannot carry people. You can't carry the past, present, and future. You can only be present. And it is a present. I love you, Sag. You're going to get another opportunity in a month. So really, rebrand fun, rebrand mission, rebrand work, rebrand all of this, all of this. And no, you can't mess up what's meant for you. It's just you want to do it. Don't go watch Scorpio's video. Don't go watch Scorpio's video. I don't want you being masochistic. I was like, do you want it to be a bumpy road or do you want it to be like a smooth sailing? And you're like, I kind of want it to be a bumpy road. No, you don't. You don't want to get punched in the face by the universe. It's not fun. We can go down any cul-de-sac we want, Sag, but know that you can be efficient in your processes too and just enjoy your life. There's some fear of success tucked in there. We'll talk about that next month, I'm sure. But you can handle it and you won't mess it up, Sag. I promise. I believe in you.
You won't mess this up. Definitely do some journaling and scream at the ocean. Okay, enough. I love you. I'm sorry. Capricorn, 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 sun, Capricorn, moon, Capricorn, rising. You will be feeling this. Oh my God. It's coming. Patience. Patience, patience. I heard someone be like, what if I don't want to be patient? I was like, well, then then you don't want a happy life. You don't want, you, you're, you th I've been there, dude. I thought that I would, you know, it would be when it came to self-love, where I'd say everyone on this planet is unconditionally lovable, God, except me. No, I, I, can, I can sacrifice myself for you and in, in your name, definitely, but I can sacrifice myself. I don't need boundaries. I don't need this. Do we want to say to the God of our understanding, like, I'm not patient enough for the, like, incredible legacy that you're building for me. I just want to be, I just want to nurture and nourish my ego. And that's it. And I just want it now. It's like, you know, it's a funky world. It's a funky world. And so I recorded yesterday a 2024 to 2027 video called The Changing of the Guides. I don't know when that's going to come out, but I'll just offer that as a preview and I'll give you some, some understanding about that, is that a lot of people that have been very public beings, South Node in your house of public life, legacy, and career, a lot of people that were public beings are going to kind of go off grid. They're going to focus more on community and stuff like that. So then in these small communities, it's like, I'm just getting a picture, like a parable, like a, a dramatization of like, there's the land and, you know, everybody's around and everybody's, you know, just like helping out. One person farms and one person, you know, hunts and one person gardens and one person runs the school. Like just picture like normal human beings. And then it's like, and then Joe Rogan is just the, the, the hunter. And there's just a few people around. And so it's like, that's what the ego stuff is that we've been talking about for a while, Capricorn. It's like, yeah, you have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subs, and you know, you're know you making money when you sleep and you're online, but you know when you're at the grocery store, nobody knows who you are. That's okay. So what? You don't need praise all the time, or do you? Maybe that's something to look at. Ooh, it's like I'm hearing the phrase who you are when no one is watching is who you are so I would like you to act more like who you are when no one is watching when people are watching my guys are like you could have ended it right there I know you're not going to but like for a lot of Capricorns that's for a lot of Capricorn risings suns and moons that's all you need to hear just keep being your quirky little self you're so cool and cute yeah, Jupiter just went into your sixth house. It's a year-long transit. Yes, she's skadoo doots but you don't have to let the planets go quickly. You don't have to go quickly. You just have to keep vibing as that you all the time. And you, I actually just need you to release like... <sighs> okay, so some of you are working a 3D job that you don't want to work. I get it. I get it. I do the same thing. It's not that you don't want to work it. And you're waiting for your abundances to come in. A little tool that I want to give to you is I want you to show up every single day from now until the day you manifest this as if it is your last day of that job. And I want you to look around with everyone and smile and cry. And just like you don't tell anybody this. You don't talk to your bosses. You don't do things in the external. Absolutely not. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't tell anybody about this. 
don't tell anybody about this. Just show up with that twinkle in your eye and that gratitude and that vibration. This is manifestation 101, which is you need to vibe as that person to attract the things that need to build it. It's almost like for some of you, you can't fully see and comprehend what's on the other side. Like, how am I going to monetize this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? But you can understand the day where it's your last day at your 3D job and you have figured it out. Out. So that's a very practical vibration that you can step into. You get two full moons, so you can't mess this up. So try it on, feel the feelings, cry, cry, baby. Listen to the music that you need. Oh, we talked about this and I forget, I forget who I talked to about, but nostalgia is also equally an addiction. So that old version of you that you know was running the company was doing all these things doing all the great things you are going to integrate some of the skill sets that you learned cap but you're not going to be in any way that person so i don't want you looking back truly nostalgia can be a very dangerous thing because our mind is limitless and our brains are you know mental projections what we think about we create so don't create old versions. Don't create cul-de-sacs when you want to shoot through the clouds. But the next step is that last day at that 3D job. So be that person. Good job, Cap. Aquarius, honey bunches, how y'all doing? Hmm. You know, for the past few weeks in the private Patreon group, we'd been talking about addictions. We'd been talking about, you know, could be to anything. It could be sugar. It could be caffeine. It could be cannabis. It could be drinking. It could be all the things. S-E-X. It could be all the things. And so... We kind of had been saying for the past month in that group, like, you got about a month to kind of decide, am I going to stay or am I going to go? And the phrase that came into my mind when I was like, Aquarius, how are you doing? Is like addiction was actually stopping my money and it was blocking my money. I'm so proud of you. That's such a big realization that you're having. That's huge. And so baby steps be very kind to yourself if you have been doing the thing that you don't want to do anymore on a very regular basis do not go cold turkey that could be dangerous you're just recognizing how attached to your soul purpose clarity is and you're kind of like surprise is pretty cool or like whatever clarity is is pretty cool yeah it's just gross for like a week Yeah, when I was quitting smoking cigarettes and it's been 10, it'll be 11 years in September. The first week is the chemical addiction. And then after that, it's, it's mental emotional. And, you know, the oral fixation and the social aspect of it. This is a really exciting time. You're releasing old, this is the health axis. We have the Sun, Mercury, and Venus in your sixth house of daily life and practical service. And then the full moon is in your house of soul purpose, healing closures, and coming home. You might be feeling irritable. I mean, it's, it's so okay to be frustrated when you're changing paradigms. It's so okay to feel frustrated that it's, it's you know, the mark of a, not spiritual awakening, but any sort of, it's the FOMO. When I wasn't smoking cigarettes, I'm like, oh, I don't get the gossip anymore. When you don't drink, you lose a significant community. When you don't eat sugar, there are very few places you can go out to eat. When you don't eat seed oils, pff, get used to cooking at home. Or traveling for really good restaurants. Yeah, I traveled like over an hour and a half to a Mexican restaurant, Mexi Mexican restaurant in Concord, Mass, that, you know, was all grass-fed, all, you know, I didn't have to worry because I could just order things off the menu and I didn't have to think about it. It was like an hour and a half. I live in Gloucester. <laughs> totally worth it. Totally worth it. So 
releasing and you get two full moons in this house so it'll be it'll hit a lot harder if there's something that you're ready to release just put it in your hands in your mind's eye and just say god this is the thing and i really need some help with it i really need some help with this some of you it's not struggling but you're like i have no idea how to do this Soul contracts are being ended in your sleep. So this it is very practical. Very exciting. Like this is where everything is. Full moon is over here. This is it's like my guides are like, don't even worry about that. Practical daily life. Focus on something practical and tangible that you do have control over. Some of you are setting boundaries with mom. Some of you are loving dad. Like just really learning that your parents are very imperfect creatures. And that's beautiful, Aquarius. For a lot of you, it's sugar. And that's okay. It's okay. Honey is delicious. Maple syrup is delicious. Dry fruit. I eat so much dry fruit, it's absurd but I'm not eating any sort of granulated sugar. I use coconut sugar in my baking. Try it on. Just try it. Try making one of your favorite recipes with those things. Just try. I love you. Pisces rising, Pisces sun, Pisces moon. I want you to really like, I know I say rebrand a lot, but rebranding being the generational curse breaker and just having it be like, no, I just came here to heal the family line or just to do things differently. Try to take some pressure off is what I'm hearing. You can't make yourself small for another person you can't just because someone loves you and you don't love them back doesn't mean you have to figure out how to love them just because a community wants you there doesn't mean you have to show up if it really doesn't serve you your energy is infectious it's lovely it's wonderful it's not mothering but right now because it's so divine you know, I call you the baby ancient sometimes because you're the last sign of the zodiac. And so people are experiencing a lot of mother-father stuff that's coming up. I mean, look at the titles of all the videos that I've been referencing or, you know, the full moon in Cap is called, Pop I'm, no, it's not called Papa, can you hear me? It's called, you know, but I'm daddy's favorite. So people are seeing the safety and the emotions that you feel inside and they're like, there still waters run deep and I need, I need safety. And so it's okay to say no because you dive into your emotions you're so beautiful and lovely and wonderful when you feel things you feel them hard there's a much different reading it was like a month ago or something that like like your adolescent was raging but look at now look at right now yeah you bounce back not everybody can do that mutable water energy you dive into the depths of your own soul and you really really you're learning how to master neptune in your sign in march it goes into your house of money dude oh it's like you're poseidon right now i'm just so proud of you but you can't you can't be what others need you to be you can only be you you can only be you whether they like it or not you're not responsible for them. You, you know, can tell people and have dialogues to say, my intention is this. My intention is this. But if people were unhappy with your health, with your unhealthy boundaries, they're not going to like healthy boundaries. But you're not responsible for their reaction. 
You're responsible for your thoughts, words, actions, and intentions. If you're hurting someone's feelings, say, I'm so sorry you're feeling this way. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. I did not intend to, but my boundaries are my boundaries and they're mine. And I have to keep them and hold them. And that's so okay. And if you lose people because of your healthy boundaries, why would you want them in your life? Really let that sink in. Really let that sink in. If someone is unhappy with you feeling as sovereign and as lovely as them, really look at that. You're very powerfully, emotionally intelligent, but also very emotional person. But you're not difficult to understand. You're not difficult to love. You're not difficult. Like Saturn, the ruler of this full moon is in your sign, in the middle of your sign. It's going to go retrograde the end of the month. I need people around you that respect you and honor you and love you. I don't care what, if it's astrology. I don't care if it's the DSM. I don't care if it's human design. I don't care if it's Briggs something or other. I don't care if it's the Enneagram. However you identify is how you identify. Not like that. That's not what I mean. However you amalgamize, say I'm a Pisces and I'm a four on the Enneagram and you know, I'm, you know, page five, 10 and 20 on the DSM five. These are my triggers. These are my traumas. This is how I adapt. This is what I do when I'm on my period. I need this amount of space when I'm on here. And if the person in front of you isn't like, cool, that's awesome. What I meant no by is this is my truth and I need you to force your language to honor my truth. Absolutely not. No, no, no. We don't play that game around here. Absolutely not. Your amalgamation is your responsibility. You are just like an an energetic, lovely being. So I want people around you that can handle that wave of love and energy. TTT, you know? And know that, you know, in the month, we're going to get another full moon in this. It's community friendships and wishes for the future. You can change your mind in a day, and I do not care. Go with it. The people in your life that are meant to be there, you can't mess them up. But if you're making yourself small for people in your life, look at it. We're not manifesting right now. We are releasing. We are giving things over to the moon. If you want to use solstice energy and manifest, I want big range goals for community. uh, Pardon me. Play, joy, creativity, romance, daily life, practical service, and then relationships. Have big goals that by the Libra equinox to say, okay, by this time, and I have a whole video, the cancer, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Coming home. You can look at that and say, okay, by the time we get to Libra season, I'm ready to share possessions with the people that I love at the job, doing the fun things. You know what I mean? So you can do either. You can do either. I'd really release any sort of If you're putting yourself in a box, Pisces. One of my favorite Jim Carrey quotes from that, you know, 2014 commencement address at the Maharashi, Maharaji University of Management. It was, you know, the first time that he said something very deep. You know, he'd opened up with very ba dum stuff. Worth your time. It's like 24 minutes of a speech. And he said something very deep. And people are like, oh, what? And he goes, oh, you didn't know I could do that. I cannot be contained because I am the container. Your energy is limitless, Pisces. Use it for good. I love you all so much.